In this video, I'm going to be discussing Chinese aftermarket replica car parts. For this example, I'm going to be using the ball joints of a Lexus GS300 2002 model. Now, ball joints on any car are an absolutely crucial component. With the earlier models of the Lexus, the ball joints were notorious for rather catastrophic failure. Ball joints themselves are basically like a ball and socket, and the reason why they fail is because water can get in under the rubber boot over time, and it causes the ball to corrode and become loose. Effectively, the ball socket needs to be greased and watertight at all times. With the Lexus GS300 Mark II, the ball joint should be torqued to 162 newton meters, which is the equivalent of 119 foot-pounds of torque. Now this is pretty tight and it has to be because it is of such importance to the structural integrity of the car's steering. This ball joint I'm showing you now is a Chinese replica that was bought online on a well-known auction site. The ball joint itself looks quite reasonable. However, the castle nut that came with the ball joint looks highly inferior and not fit for purpose. The quality of the metal is simply cringeworthy. When the Chinese replica ball joint was fitted to the near side of the car, which is the left in the UK, the torque setting was set for 162 newton meters, as per the Lexus torque specifications in the workshop manual. On tightening the ball joint castle nut, it became very apparent that the actual nut was not in fact tightening at all. At 120 newton meters, which is basically 88 foot pounds of torque, the castle nut had completely stripped its threads. That's a staggering 40 newton meters less than what Toyota specifies for this car part. What you're looking at now is a genuine Lexus Toyota castle nut for a ball joint. What you're looking at now is the Chinese copy or replica, whichever you want to call it, which won't even talk to the specifications laid out by a car's manufacturer. This is a genuine Lexus Toyota ball joint. This is a Chinese copy. Chinese car parts, particularly ball joints, are dangerous. Don't take the risk. This is what can happen. Always buy the OEM manufacturer's parts. They spent millions of pounds or dollars developing these cars. Saving a few bucks, it's just not worth the risk.